are here in our basement. <laughs> Not of the show. Yeah, but we're here. We have some really exciting news. Broadway at the Eccles has just announced their brand new season for 2018-19 and also a little bit of 2019-2020. Right. Uh, this yeah. is an awesome season. This is probably the best season that we've ever gotten. First up is a show that's very near and dear to my heart, Waitress. Absolutely. This one we actually went to see on, in New York and Lee was actually pregnant at the time. And you'll get a chance to see this show and understand a little bit more about that. But this one's awesome. I mean, literally, Lee sings these songs to our little girl as she's going to sleep. This one's totally part of our life. Awesome, awesome show. I love it. And the music is by Sarah Bareilles who is one of my favorite songwriters out there, so don't miss that show. Next up is Come From Away. I love this show. This is the telling of 9-11, but from the perspective of Gander, Newfoundland. Um, so you get this whole story about 9-11, but it's told from a completely different perspective. Uh, Gander's a small town where all the airplanes were delayed to when 9-11 happened and the airspace was closed. And it's this amazing story of heart and the people. Yeah. And so great. You know, the show was only, it was like an hour and a half long with no intermission, and I honestly just wanted it to keep going and going. <laughs> Come From Away is definitely one of those shows that probably if Dear Evan Hansen wasn't up against them for the Tony that year, right. Come From Away would have won. Definitely. This is one that not a lot of people know about. It's not one of the more like, you know, mainstream ones or whatever. I've talked to some people about it and they're like, oh, what's that? This is one worth looking up and checking out, and I'm so excited that Salt Lake City is getting it. Show number three is Finding Neverland. This is actually another show that's based on a film. We saw this in New York with uh, Matthew Morrison yeah. from Glee. Mm -hmm. We actually rushed that show, didn't we? Yeah, we were rushed it, we were able to get in. Um, most of the original cast while we are still there as well. Uh, this show's a lot of fun, it's got a lot of heart to it. If you've seen the movie, it's along the same premise as the movie. Um, but there's some pr surprising music and some surprising you know, changes that really made it fun. It's about uh, the, the man who wrote Peter Pan. So really, it's a, at its core, it's a story that we all know and love, but it's about the man who wrote the story. It's got a lot of heart, you gotta check this one out. Uh, next up for show number four is Disney's Aladdin. Um, it's funny, there's so much to say about Aladdin, but they changed it up. It's a quite a different story. We've had some new music and of course the classics, but my all time favorite part of it is the flying carpet. It's so neat the way that they did it. I wonder how they're gonna do it on tour. I mean, yeah. it was it was magical in New York. I'm still not convinced that it's not like a full on hovering like <laughs> drone carpet. It's It was amazing. I grew up on the show, the Disney show, and so just one of those musicals that you're gonna wanna take your kids to and your whole family will enjoy it. Our next show is School of Rock. This is based on the Jack Black movie and the thing I loved about this show, we saw it in New York, the t amazing cast of children that are playing musical instruments. I mean, the talent's just dripping from these kids. This show features 14 new songs from Andrew Lloyd Webber, and just one of those really great, leaves you pumped up, rock out kind of shows. It was a lot of fun. I was surprised by how much I enjoyed this show. This show follows the storyline of the movie fairly closely, but it, like the introduction of the kids playing the instruments, just wonderful live. And last but not least, in the regular season, is my very first show on Broadway, coming to Utah for the 20th anniversary tour in Rent. I mean, I was, Who doesn't love that score? <laughs> <laughs> I was blown away to see this. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've looked at flights and tried to figure out a way that we could go see this 20th anniversary tour, but just blown away that it's coming to Utah. Rent was one of those game changers in the whole musical theater industry, so I, I'm so excited to be able to see what they do with the 20th anniversary tour. Absolutely. So excited for this to come here. I mean, I'm like dusting off the cast album, gotta get to it. I, I can't say enough great things about Rent. It's definitely my gateway drug to the theater world. So there are two different add-on shows that aren't part of the regular season package. One, uh, Wicked. Who doesn't love Wicked, especially here in Utah? It's the story of the Wicked Witch of the West. It's the third or fourth time this has been to Utah. Every time it comes, it's a huge deal. The second add-on that's available in the 2018-2019 season is the Book of Mormon. I mean, uh, enough said for Utah, right? I mean, every time this comes here, it sells really well. There's a lot of people who really enjoy this show. Salt Lake City, I Salt think Lake it's City. <laughs> Yeah, we'll stop trying that, but Book of Mormon's the last add-on show for this. And then last but not least, not for this season, but for the 2019-2020 season, we're getting Dear Evan Hansen. Yes, huge. You know, this was 
kind of an early announcement, kind of like what they did last year with Hamilton, but this is such a huge get for Salt Lake City to get Dear Evan Hansen. This was the Tony Award winner in 2016, and it's one of those shows that will change you when you see it. I'm, seriously, there wasn't a dry eye in the theater. This show is just electric for me. We saw it at New World Stages in New York before it went to its full Broadway run, and then a couple times on Broadway as well, and every time we go, there's just something else new that you see. It's this perfect infusion of technology and social media and some really current issues that just need to be discussed, and I'm excited for Salt Lake City to feel what yeah. it is. Well, overall though, this is probably, actually no, it is. This is the best season that I've ever seen here in Salt Lake City. And kudos to Broadway at the yeah. Echoes for bringing in this type yeah, of talent and definitely. this type Props. of show. Yeah, props to Broadway at Echoes. This is just so great that we're starting to get these wonderful, wonderful shows. And some of them are just fresh off Broadway in their first tour. And I mean, we always kind of dreamed about a brand new theater in yeah. Salt Lake. And now we have one. And now we're getting the tours that really, you know, we've needed forever. And getting some new shows and some new blood in Salt Lake City. So look forward to our reviews of these shows over the next two years, I guess we'll say, but. Absolutely, and then we're headed to Broadway at Eccles tomorrow night for the Sound of Music and kind of just, it'll be great to be there amongst the buzz of the new season. So watch for that episode coming soon too. See you later. Thanks guys.